Hello. Welcome. Thank you for joining me in my little corner. Today I have a topic that I'd like to share with you that I find extremely valuable and important, especially in these times of the pandemic, of all the confusion, of all the discussions of what's right, what's wrong, what's going on, why are we being hindered and forced to stay at home, why this vaccine, what can we trust, all this. People are getting quite angry and cross with each other. And a friend of mine posted a post on Facebook the other day asking, crying out for more kindness. Whatever your opinion, whatever my opinion, it just, yes, express it if you like, but be kind to each other. We're both human. We both matter. None of us have the whole answer. We have different perspectives because we all, all of us on this world, in this world, on this earth, billions of people, have different backgrounds, different experiences, different stories, and we were bound to have different perspectives. We can't avoid it. What we can avoid is attacking each other for having different perspectives, even though those perspectives seem completely opposite and big and important to us. Yes, this is an important time. It's an time of, of reflection, but it's a reflection on, on how do we connect, how do we speak to each other, and what kind of future do we want to move into, to create from this. It's a moment of being able to think and reflect. Some people are not able to do that, so they're struggling way, way too much. There's a lot of, of things happening around in the, uh, the world with this pandemic and with other kinds of conflicts. But the people who can, we can do our bit to lift the focus a little bit to kindness, to be good to each other. And that includes ourselves. It includes being kind to you. I've discovered some judgmental thoughts in my uh, mind. Actually, it's not a new discovery, but I've still, I've discovered them again. What do I do? I start attacking, do I start attacking myself for it? Yes, I can. Well, that's not very kind. When I discover this in myself, and I implore you and I invite you to do the same, notice what you think about people. If there's somebody with a different opinion, how do you think about that person? How do you speak about that person? What do you say behind that person's back? Are you ready to fight that person? Do you want to discard or, or turn your back on that person? Just notice. And if you notice that you're acting or thinking in a way that isn't really in the name of kindness or of, of compassion, of collaboration, of the lifting the world, making this a better place, how do you speak to yourself if you notice this? Do you attack yourself? Do you scold yourself? Do you judge yourself? If you do, stop it. That's my strong <laughs> invitation to you, if you like. Imagine that you sit, you sit next to yourself and this yourself is judging him or herself uh, on these, these mechanisms, these patterns that you carry with you. Imagine that you just sit next to that person that is yourself. Just sit there. You can close your eyes if you like. Just imagine that you're sitting next to yourself. And this is this kind of the, the part of yourself that attacks you because you haven't got those pure thoughts or kindness or you acted or thought and you can't get rid of it, whatever. Or attacking yourself, forgiving yourself for attacking yourself is also difficult or, or stopping that. Why can't we? Just imagine that person sitting there beating themselves up or, or, or grieving this, this mechanism. Imagine putting your arm around that person, pulling that person into you, holding that person until the person calms down. Be kind to that person. And notice, as this kindness starts shifting and seeping into that person, notice how that person starts melting into you. There you go. Then you become kinder to yourself in that act. It's simple. 
And if you see somebody out there that you really strongly oppose, or even somebody who has such strong opinions, and you're confused, and you don't know what to think, and you want to believe that everything's safe, and you don't know, you get confused because that person has very strong opinions and pulls you out of your own space. Try and see if you can be a little kind to yourself in that, in the confusion, if you like, or in the frustration. And then send a kind thought to that person. That person has his or her path to go, just as you have. His or her story to live. His or her background, experiences, bringing that person to that. We don't all know the answers. And the future will show. Follow your beliefs. Live by them, abide by them. And if you want a better world, then create that better world in yourself. You can't have a kind world if the kindness doesn't exist or start here. A kind world includes kindness at all levels and respect for each other. Listening. And it's hard sometimes because we get pulled into each other's intensity, if you like, the energy. So if you notice that you get all agitated or, or something about conflicts or discussions or you get frightened by something concerning either the virus or illness or, or really saddened because somebody's ill or somebody's lost somebody or maybe you've lost somebody to the virus or to any other disease, any other illness. Try and see if you can step back a little bit. and send a kind thought to yourself and to this person or these people. Send a kind thought to the people who suffer in this pandemic. Kindness uplifts us. It makes us better people. It makes the world a better place. Let's be a better example to ourselves and to each other. Let's be kind, please. That is my prayer for us, for you, for me, for everyone. Let's see if we can shift this world in a kind way. Okay, thank you. Have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for listening. Many blessings.